to download a file or a driver from um, Internet Explorer 6, 7 or version 8, then all you simply do is first of all open Internet Explorer. To do this just double left click on the Internet Explorer icon on the desktop. Internet Explorer will then open. Now we need to go to the web page that has the file or the driver that we wish to download. In this example, I'm going to go to a website called download.com, which uh, is a website that hosts uh, a large number of files. And the program that I'm looking for is a program called MP3 Tag. So in this search box at the top here, I'm going to type in MP3 Tag and then click the uh, left click the uh, the magnifying glass to search okay so up comes a list of uh, searches search results sorry with mp3 tag and it is right at the top there so i'm just going to click the download now button left click the download now button on the right hand side there okay so now it's actually come up with a bar at the top of the screen here saying to help protect your security internet explorer block this site from downloading files to your computer click here for options so i'm going to left click where it says click here for options and we've got well one main option here which is download file so as long as we know that the file that we're downloading is safe um, and we're expecting this sort of bar to come up then we can click download file if this bar just came up um, in the middle of browsing and you wasn't planning to download anything then best thing to do is close down internet explorer and get out of there it could be that the website is trying to download something malicious to your computer but in this case i know that i want to download something so i click download file okay so now we get this file security warning box come up asking us do you want to run or save this file well what i want to do first of all is i do want to save it to my computer so we click the save button now this part here is very very important we've got to choose where we want to save the file on the computer if you can't remember where you're going to save the file then please write it down the top here tells us where we're going to save the file to. Now, it's going to save it in the downloads folder. Now, if we want to choose another folder to save it in, say such as the documents folder, down the left hand side here in Windows Vista and Windows 7, we can click documents and that changes the area that we're going to save the, the file to. Ideally, the best place to save things to is probably the, the downloads file. So I'm going to left click on the downloads folder up there. At the bottom here, as you can see, it's the uh, there's the name of the, uh, the file and that's MP3 tag V249 setup. Again, it's handy to write this down before we can continue so that we know exactly what file we've downloaded to the computer and where we've downloaded it to. So just to reiterate, at the top of the screen there, you can actually see we're downloading it to the downloads folder, which is in the Chris folder. Okay, so, and the file name is MP3 tag V249 setup. So now I click save. Okay, the file is now downloaded. This may take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection and also depending on the, uh, um, on the size of the file. When it's downloaded, we click close. Now that our file, our program or driver has been downloaded to the computer, we need to go and find it and what they call execute it or double click on it to, uh, to, to start it, to install it. So what we need to do is we need to click on our start button, which is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Then if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7, you need to click on the uh, your name if you've downloaded it to the downloads folder in the previous step. So as you can see, I'm gonna click left click once on Chris. This window is now gonna open up, um, showing me all the different folders that are underneath my username. And one of them there is downloads. So I double left click downloads 
And as you can see, there's our file MP3 tag V249 setup. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click on that file, double left click to, to run it. You might notice that the screen darkens and you get this user account control box appear. Just click yes on that. OK. Then in the next step, we get the wizard appear. Now, depending on what you've downloaded, this could differ. So all you do now is just follow the instructions on the screen. And it's usually just a matter of clicking next. If you're not sure what you're doing, then um, just follow what they recommend on the screen. If they don't recommend anything and you're still completely unsure, then just click cancel.